Yeah. Now we can see. 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 Is it is it okay if we start showing around the room again? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is this is an endoscope. This is what they use to look, um, or a bronchoscope. This is what they use to look at your lungs. So you you know that COVID nineteen was a big deal, and that was a respiratory disease. And they would use these scopes, and they have little tiny cameras on them. This is a camera. This is, is a, that, camera, this a camera, and that's an actual working port. And they would. They would put that down your throat and into your lungs. They, they put that down your throat and into your lungs while you're sleeping. And they can actually see if there's anything growing in your lungs or any, any diseases or any bad bacteria in there. And they use this tower here. It's a huge, basically a huge robot. It has a screen so they can see what the camera's seeing. It has suction. Carterization, power. Basically, this is one instrument that they would use to look inside your body. The other instrument, has anyone seen an ultrasound or heard of an ultrasound? <laughs> All right, so this is an ultrasound. Right here, we're gonna show you real quick. So you see that the, it's a it's a it's a machine. It has a screen over here, and not only that, we have different uh, what we call probe that looks like this, and we can actually if we if we touch this, we, if we place this, for example, I'll show you guys real quick. If I put this on my neck right here, I'll be able to see the vessels. Uh, it can be, it can be, this guy, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't have gel, but let me see if it'll be able to wash it. Yeah, I need gel, but it's okay. Let me, let me see if there's an image saved here because then so. here we go. Uh, I'll show you real quick. For the, all right, so you guys know that over here in our neck, we have uh, we have a few vessels that you know pump blood to our heart and to our brain. And we can actually use this machine, even though, look, you guys cannot see. Do you see that there's any vessel right here? You can't see because there is skin on top. And we can actually use the ultrasound to see those vessels. And I'm going to show you. So I'm going to place the probe right here on my neck. And let me show you over here what you can see on the screen. Do you see this vessel? Yeah. 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 And this vessel? Yeah. Yep. So this, this is a, this is a way that we can see if we, you know, again, we can practice all of these procedures over here, so that when we have to do this in real life, we are better at it. Yep. Do you guys have any questions for us? No. I do. Go ahead. Any questions, guys? Uh, that little camera thing. That camera thing. Do you do like the looking people body before I see the right nobody? Do we use it to what? Do, do you your? Yeah. Uh, can you can you say that again? I didn't understand you. That that little camera that you pull. If we can yep. use to see the heart, you know. What? Yeah. So, so we have we have two different ones. We have we have a probe that goes on this ultrasound machine, and they can look at your heart through that probe. So it looks similar to that camera, but it emits like basically a little solar field that shows the image just like he showed you the vessel on his neck. They would do the same procedure. It's called a ETT exam, so an endotracheal basically exam, and they go just down your throat, right to your heart, and then they see the heart. They don't go inside the heart, 
they just kind of go right in your kind of like in your throat and, and it can see the heart the camera that i showed you goes down in your throat and it goes and sees your lungs so they can go to all the different branches of your lungs and make sure that it's good and clean in there and if it's not good and clean that robot tower that i showed you that had all that equipment it has suction on it and they can actually suck all that fluid out of your lungs or suck all that bacteria out of your lungs with the same scope so there's a camera in there there's a little suction tube in there and then there's a basically a working channel they call it which is like a place that they can put little instruments down so that they can remove stuff it's almost like a little robotic hand and it's all in that little tiny camera that i showed you or that little tiny scope they call it a they call it a bronx scope a bronx scope because it goes right down your your bronchial tube yeah do we, have, do we have more questions? Yeah, yeah. one more. Okay. How did you guys get the um like the the splinter on the other guy's hand? How did we get it on there? Yeah. So, so we have what's called moulage artists. That's what um, Rhonda was. She's a moulage artist, and she's basically um, trained to create these fake injuries and fake. Uh, um, it's special effects. It's, it's, it's special almost as effects. special effects. So they use kind of similar to what they do in the movies. They use wax and makeup and powders and paints, and they use um, the. It's like uh, Play-Doh almost, and they make these fake injuries. And then when we have the learners come over, the students, they come over and they have to diagnose what the injury or what the problem is, and then say how they would treat it. So it's basically a way to teach them how to be good doctors. And the only way to teach them what an injury is, is to show them what one looks like first. So that when they do get over in the emergency room and somebody comes in with a cut finger or a burn from where they touch the stove, they know what it looks like and they know how to fix it. Yep. Thank you, Gary. You want to come back? Uh, so when they so when they paint the fake injuries, it's basically just movie magic. Movie magic. Yep, that's a perfect. That's a perfect way to describe it. We use movie magic. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Next question. All right. We have one more question. Um. But. Um, 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 from the robot, um, they can, um, seeds can grow and, and grow was, um, seeds, if seeds could grow things, but how, how do they must come over? Um, I, I couldn't hear you. I'm yep. sorry. Um, um, it's all right. It's all right. Whenever, whenever you want to ask, we'll, we'll, we'll answer you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Do you guys have any have any other questions? Do you want to come ask a question? What is movie magic? What is what? What is what magic? Ask your question again. I think that hurts you. Oh, he's asking movie magic. Yeah, he's asking what you meant by um, it's um 
It's like it's basically just a fancy makeup. You know how sometimes they fake stuff in the movies and they they use makeup to fake stuff and make people look how they don't look. Yeah, it's what we did before. We created a fake blister, a fake, a fake cut, all using fake uh, makeup and special effects. Yeah. Can I answer it? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Yes. You have a question. Got a cop out Tell them another one and tell them it's like this is wax. This is yeah. Hey, little. You guys so new. And what do you do? We have the Martha thing in your neck with the camera hanging. Now I can mention now can you sleep? No. Can, you, can you can you repeat for can us? You repeat? I didn't hear. I, we're 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 but using our Zoom. Camera thing that's kind of little that makes it and stuff. Oh, it makes it all pure stuff inside from your neck. Yeah, <laughs> the camera being little and and being able to see all the stuff. So we, the camera projects on like a big TV, kind of like your house TV. And it makes everything look a lot bigger than it really is. That way they can see it. Because even though the camera's small and inside your body's small, we can actually put that that picture on a big TV, like like the TV that's in your living room, and then the doctor can have a nice big picture of what's going on from the camera. Does that make does that answer your question, or did you have more of a question? Yeah. Yeah, they almost have a, a big TV like they do in your in your living room. And that little camera puts a big old picture on that TV and then they can see what's going on. All right, thank you. Do you guys have any more questions? No. 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 No.